everyone welcome back to my channel my name is shannon if you've never been here before and today i'm going to be talking about what i eat in a week while breastfeeding i have a whole breastfeeding highlight on my instagram that i will link down below so you can check that out too my main objective when i think about what i eat while i breastfeed is i want to make sure i get enough calories and drink enough water um, because i can't expect to make you know, 30 ounces of milk if I'm only drinking 20 ounces of water a day. So I drink a lot of water and then I try and get as many calories as possible. And I try and get like nutrient rich calories. I wanna aim for about 500 extra calories a day um, compared to what I had been eating. And I don't wanna get those calories from like Little Debbie snack cakes, you know what I mean? I wanna get those extra calories from nutrient rich food so that's kind of my goal when i think about what i eat also a lot of these meals i realized are dairy free and gluten free not 100 percent all of them but i don't think anyway um but could very easily be that way not because preston has like an allergy to anything that i eat it's just kind of like luck of the draw that's how it happened this past week so let's get right into what i ate so this first meal was actually just like a lunch that I ate after church. Um, so it was really quick and easy. Just some blue corn tortilla chips from Aldi, some refried beans, refried black beans. I get these ones at Walmart. I can't find them anywhere else, but they are the best. They taste so good. They're organic. The ingredients are super clean on the back if you read them and they taste amazing. I haven't tried the regular refried beans but the refried black beans are where it's at. And then I top it with some organic salsa that I get from Aldi. They have a fire roasted salsa that's really good too. That would be lovely on this. And um, some black olives because I'm a big olive fan. And then I topped it with a little bit of sprinkled um, cilantro that I just took out of my garden. So I didn't put shredded cheese on this because I shred my cheese by hand. Like I get it in a block and it's kind of just like an extra hassle <laughs> to do it that way. And I didn't want to like get out my cheese grater just for like this little plate of nachos. So I just skipped the cheese entirely. And honestly, I, it was just as good. I couldn't even, I didn't even miss that there was not cheese on it. So then after I ate that little snack on Sunday, I did some meal prep. So I made, I'm gonna call it like a Greek vegetable medley of sorts. So I had cucumbers, um, tomato, green olives, and black olives. You could have added cheese or salami or little banana peppers would be really good in this too, but I just didn't. I just kept it really simple. And then I did olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, um, balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper, and it was delicious just like that. So what I did with this though is I made pasta salad. So I cooked up some brown rice and quinoa noodles. These are gluten free from Aldi and they are so good. The flavor is way better than regular pasta even and it's better for you. So I highly recommend them. So I just added half of my little vegetable medley to my pasta salad and threw it in the fridge to snack on um, throughout the week. And then the other half I used for snacks as well, but I actually Put it on top of hummus and it was so good and i ate um blue or not blue corn um white bean tortilla chips with the hummus those are super salty be warned those were the first time that i got them derek loves them but they're a little too salty for my taste so pita chips would be really good with um that with the hummus and the veggies on top too if you have a brand of pita chips you like I haven't found any pita chips that I like where I'm like pleased with the ingredients on the back. So if you have a good brand of pita chips, leave it down below for me in the comments because I'm on the hunt. Um, I also picked up these Polish sausage sticks just to like snack on. Sometimes I'm, you know, running all over the place being a busy mom and I realize that I haven't eaten anything in like five hours. So this is just really easy to just grab out of the fridge and get something in me so I don't pass out. <laughs> Another really good snack, just like semi grab and go if you peel them ahead of time, is hard boiled eggs. I love hard boiled eggs and they're a great, really quick snack and an easy way to get some extra nutrients and extra calories in you. 
So Monday night, I kind of took the easy way out and just did a rotisserie chicken so I didn't have to really cook much. But I did steam some cauliflower just in the microwave and pureed it with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil to make like a mashed potato sort of thing but I didn't have any potatoes but I did have cauliflower that's the only reason I picked it really and then I sauteed up some zucchini with um, butter salt pepper and garlic and had that um, topped on top of the cauliflower on the side and it was delicious really quick and easy meal and good for you too so then Tuesday night this was the first time I made this meal and it got five stars from the boys so I just sauteed some garlic and onion and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper and waited until it cooked a little bit and then threw in some diced up chicken and got that nice and brown and cooked. I used the um, brown rice and quinoa noodles again because they are just fabulous. And then for the sauce, all I used was a little more extra virgin olive oil and basil and it was just so good. I didn't even like, I didn't make a cream sauce or I didn't do anything really for the sauce, but just the olive oil, onion, garlic, salt, pepper, and basil, phenomenal. So on Wednesday, I made pulled pork in the crock pot and just cooked it low and slow, pulled it apart, and then put barbecue sauce on it. I found this organic barbecue sauce from Walmart. Honestly, not my favorite. I don't really recommend it. The taste, I can't quite pinpoint it, but it was just a little off. Not sure what it was, but I probably won't purchase it again. And then we just had a side salad to go with it. So then on Thursday, I sauteed up some onion and zucchini again, because those were the vegetables I had on hand this week, obviously, because they're showing up a lot this week. And um, so onion, garlic, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, zucchini, and some soy sauce. And then I threw in some peas and made it kind of like a stir fry sort of situation. Oh, and mushrooms too. I put some mushrooms in there and I just served that over quinoa and it was very delicious. And then the next night for supper, we just had big salads. I love making just like a huge loaded salad. I did a homemade ranch and some spring lettuce mix and what's on there. I, I like to put corn on there, um, bacon, chicken, hard boiled eggs. Sometimes I put olives on there and cheese, which, but I don't, I think I put any of that on there this time, but I just love eating like a big, hearty salad. And then a snack that I like to have throughout the week for something kind of sweet is oatmeal. Um, I make it sort of like an oatmeal cookie where I have raisins in there and cinnamon and maple syrup for my sweetener. And I love the good crisp crunch of some chopped up apples on there and um, some extra crunch of some quinoa or not quinoa, that'd be kind of gross. <laughs> Don't try that. Some extra crunch of chia seeds and um, that's like a really good nutrient rich, high calorie, healthy snack. And then I wanna share the prenatal vitamins that I've been taking. My husband actually picked these out and I'm pretty proud of him because usually he like turns his nose up about all of this like no artificial blah, blah, blah. But he actually picked these out for me and um, I'm enjoying them. I'm not typically a fan of the chewy vitamins because I feel like the texture is really weird, but these are coated in sugar, which is not the healthiest of course, but it makes it more palatable. And um, I'm on like my second bottle of these now. So that is what I ate in a week while breastfeeding. Um, I hope you got some meal inspiration from this video. I love watching these videos because I'm always inspired by everyone else and the meals that they kind of come up with and it gives me ideas for the week ahead. So I hope you were able to take away something. I'd love if you can follow me on Instagram. I'm super into breastfeeding right now, cloth diapering right now, fall, baby clothes um, for boys because that's all I have. <laughs> and um, what else am I into right now? And some food stuff too. I've done like a grocery haul on there and stuff. So if you want to go follow me on there, I will leave a link down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we'll chat later. Bye.